In this video we are going to check out the very brand new album by John Bonamassa, uh, which is called Time Clocks. And I have two different uh, editions of this release and let's start with the vinyl one. It's a release on a gold vinyl, a uh, limited one, 7000 copies, which makes it not so limited after all. The album consists of 10 tracks. I've already listened to it and I have to say it's a pretty good album. I also read a review on this album uh, in a classic rock magazine and it also said uh, that the album is great and it has 8 stars out of 10. Well, as you could see from a gateful cover, the design and the artworks are pretty great. Actually, it's a good trend investing more and more into album's design. Also, uh, Vinyl Edition has 24 pages booklet with a foreword by Joe Bonamassa. I'm going to read it while you're going to enjoy the rest of the pictures. 20 years ago, I recorded uh, a record of covers that eventually was called Blues Deluxe. It was recorded at Bobby Nathan's studio in Manhattan. It captured an energy and purpose that always stuck with me as an artist. I lived in New York City at the time. At the times uh, were pretty rough. My weekly routine was a combination of hustling session gigs and opportunities that seems few and far between. I was hungry, literally and figuratively. The music business is tough, very tough, especially back in those days when major labels pulled at the, all the strings and, in my case, all the punches. I subsisted on a basic diet of peanut butter, jelly and ramen noodles purchased at the bodega on the corner of 83rd and Columbus Avenue. Once a week I would buy a win for life lottery ticket. Literally my ticket out of this hideous business, I thought to myself all the time. My love for the guitar and music was just too strong to give up. Cut to 2019 and I find myself back in New York and inspired by the city again. My living conditions had changed dramatically in the subsequent 20 years but the energy that makes New York City great still remained. So that was a little bit quote by Joe Bonamassa. And we are going to check out the vinyl. So it has polyline dust leaves, which is a pretty good thing. And it made in France. And oh my god, could you see it? this? Um, golden vinyl edition but it has some relief uh, well looks looks amazing but the thing is it doesn't sound amazing it still has some noises I don't know what it's all about but uh, yeah it's a little bit noisy not as bad as uh, as you recall from Dream Theater, Golden Edition, but still, I was kind of a little bit disappointed. Uh, and now we have a special uh, deluxe CD box for you. It has uh, several interesting things inside. So let's check it out. So first of all, uh, three guitar picks for uh, musicians, I suppose, only. And wonderful coasters. Uh, later I'm going to show you coasters in action. And they are pretty great, actually. Well, you will see that later. Uh, and now we have mm, CD edition. It has some different, actually, design elements from the vinyl one, as you could see. But overall it's the same, so we're not gonna dig into it deeper. And also we have uh, 10 postcards. Mm, this concept mm, we've already seen before uh, on a new Dream Theater album. But I would say that it's a pretty nice concept, like one song and one image. Actually, 
I would find it rather interesting. Uh, and you may obviously send this postcard to someone via post. Well, when did you last time uh, receive a postcard? Uh, this one is my favorite. And now you may see a coaster in action. Uh, and I'm gonna say thank you and leave it to the vinyl. I've made a rip for you and now you may hear the quality of it. Goodbye. These maidens in the shadows bring darkness to the light. 